Hello, my name is Amanda, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm playing with Counterfeit Kit Challenge number two, which is no pink. And as you can see, I have my base all set to go because my camera didn't decide to um, record right away. And so I'm going to do these pictures of my oldest at Rally Day. So yesterday, I had my youngest at Rally Day, and I have different pictures of my oldest. We had to do lots of different things, and there's our group one. And so this one's going to look a lot different than the other one. And so I took two pieces of paper from my counterfeit kit club. This crepe paper Marigold, which is the back side with the B side with the stripes. And then this hip kit club one, that's Stargazer. And that's this blue one. And so what I did is I took that 12 by 12 sheet and I cut it in half at six inches. So that's this piece here. And then I took the other half and cut it in quarters. So then I got um, the four corners there. And so they're just taped onto um, white cardstock. And that's where we're going to start with because that's just what it happened. So this is kind of what I'm thinking about layout. Um, I decided that I did want to back these four in the grid for the photos in this blue. So I'm just seeing how big this blue square is because I gutted it from another piece and I'm just going to make them all the same. So that works out pretty good. I think it ends up being about four and a half. I think my photos are four by four. I did debate about this other color, but I've already got this one cut and I'm happy with it. But I do want something else to offset so I pulled this other blue cardstock, and so I'm just going to cut it a little bit bigger. So I think this ends up being, I think, four and a quarter, and the other one's four and a half. I think that's what it is, and my picture is about four, eh, thereabouts, just to give a nice double border on these, these side ones. And I cut it weird. Like I could have probably gotten all four pieces out of one piece of paper, but I cut it weird and it is what it is and whatever. <laughs> so I was like, uh. So I'm gonna cut this as a four by six, and then I'm gonna cut my four by sixes down just a little bit so that they also get this light blue. And I did pull quite a bit of that cardstock, so that makes it easy. And so I'm going to have some extra pieces that will go into my bin, but that's okay. I'm just cutting both of them at the same time here. And then those ones are done. And then I forgot that I hadn't trimmed this down yet. So trim in my pictures, get them on. And I'm not going to do the dark blue around these ones on the left side only because I don't think I have another dark navy that's the exact same color in the cardstock. So, and I didn't want to go, I was being lazy. I didn't want to go search for one that was the same. So I was thinking of making these square and square. And then I decided that I wanted that inner mat to be a little wonky because it's fun. And I think the the diagonal print for the that one makes it so I can be a little funky. So that's what I decided. And so that works out pretty good for what I've got going on. And then, do to do, what am I doing? Debating, debating something. Oh, embellishments. I'm sorry, normally I cut that out. So I um take a look at my wood veneer, which is part of my kit this month too and seeing if there's anything in here that I like. So Girl Guides to me is owls, even though it's more of a brownie thing, but our unit was a multi-unit, so we had sparks all the way up to Pathfinders. So it was a lot of fun, like so much fun with these girls. I was the leader of this unit too, when my girls were in it, and it was a homeschool unit, so we met during the day, and it was, it was lovely. And so this was our Girl Guide rally. We're in at the the big convention center and the girls are having, it was a great fun. 
So some of the pictures, um, one of the pictures is us on transit up to there. Um, the group one is outside an astrodome because we got to see an, uh, an astronomy presentation. The lower left one is us in a drumming circle. And then the upper right one is them line dancing. And then beside that is, um, let me think. Oh, them looking at different displays and doing some learning. The one that I'm getting the mat centered for is the older girls could do a self-defense kind of course or yeah, of course. Um, so they did a little bit in that. So I have some pictures of my oldest doing that. And then they had EMS and fire trucks and all sorts of different um, kinds of careers available for the girls to look at as well. So this is my oldest and her friend checking out the back of an ambulance, I think. I'm pretty sure. Or the trauma response unit, maybe. They had all of those kind of things there. So I'm using my T-square and getting that first one up. And then I use that first one to help me get the other ones um, more or less on that grid. And then I'm going to glue these lighter ones down just because it gives me a little bit more wiggle room than the tape. And so then what I'm trying to do is line up the corners within that darker square so nothing's hanging over, but it's still centered on there. And so I'll do one more and I'm gonna do them not facing the same direction. Fiddle, fiddle, and then I'm going to do the rest without you having to watch that because I think you get the gist. And then I debated on having the pictures square in the lighter blue one, but I decided that I wanted them square to the darker blue one. So using my T-square again, I'll show you one of these ones. I'm trying to get it where I want it. I was really fiddly with the ruler on this day when I was doing these photos. And then I just said, I'm just going to use my glue and I will get it somewhat and then move it to where I think it needs to be. So, and then I'm going to use the line for the other one and get them all on and don't make you watch that. I pulled these wood veneers from my really old hip kit club. This one says, imagine. I'm going to pull out a couple stars. I like the sparkle that's on here. Um, I don't remember what this one says. You'll see in the close-ups at the end, which it's not very long for this video today, so. And then I did pull out some other wood veneers, so like these hearts, and so I wanted a little bit more of this navy on, so I'm using my color theory ink to add a little bit on there. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more in a minute too, but. And so now I'm gonna come over to my left side and get this on here and I'm gonna ink up the edges in this maybe. Um, so it gives a little bit of that same definition that the right side has, but it's not a thick paper mat. And that wasn't quite where I needed it to be. So, and then just eyeballing those ones because they'll be fine. And so this is how I think I'm going to put them. And my title is going to go Love GGC. And then I thought maybe the rally could go there and the day could go here, but I don't really like that as much. There's this little owl. And then I'm going to put the middle picture up on foam where all of all of our girls are because that's kind of fun and then these other two will just get put straight down and then this um, bright one on the left page will overlap just a tiny bit but 
it works really well. And this one I minimally embellished today too, so, which is kind of unusual for me. I like all the things on my pages normally, so it, it literally just gets the wood veneer today. Nothing else. I look at other stuff, which I cut out because you don't need me to look at stuff and not do anything. Um, but yeah, it gets just the wood veneer. So I'm going to color up this one blue too and glue it on, which is super cute. And then I'm going to get the rally day on right away too. I guess I could have cut this out too, but I did not. So there we go. I'm just lining the top up with the picture. Um, so I don't need my T-square or anything for lining these up. And it looks a little bit harder to read on the screen, but it's super easy to read um, in person. And then that day centered. And then the owl is going to get centered as well. This owl and the letters are actually from the dollar store. So that was pretty, I think the hearts are too. But. And then I pulled these ones from the hit kit club sheet and so one says so exciting one says um where you stand you sparkle and I can't remember what the top one says and then I put some of the the stars on it too a heart up here a little heart and a little star to pull those ones down and I'm liking that pretty good so far and then I decided that I wanted these a little bit darker. So I use the edge of my um, ink pad and put some lines in it, which adds some different texture, and then use my brush and add some more deeper colors, and I like that a whole lot more. And pretty close to being done here. So I thought about these buttons, and that would have worked, but it wasn't quite what I was feeling. I thought about the bigger owl there, and I didn't like the different color of wood and we are done. So I decided minimal is good. So you make life brighter is what that one says. And I missed that one. Okay, so here are the close-ups. They're so cute. Ditch your comfort zone, which worked really well for her playing with the um, self-defense course because she really was not in her comfort zone. Here's the first page and the second page, and then they'll be together. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I really appreciate you being here. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. There'll be some other videos here, playlist, and a subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.